Police in Winnipeg are investigating a shooting that killed one teenager and left another fighting for his life. Officers were called to a home early this morning where they found two teen boys with gunshot wounds. Both victims were rushed to hospital where the 15-year-old died and a 17-year-old is now in stable condition. And it was a report of gunfire that drew police to a rental home west of Winnipeg where they discovered a violent house party that sent at least three people to hospital. Mounties described the scene as chaotic and today went public in hopes of finding more victims and suspects. Here's CTV's Manitoba Bureau Chief Jill Mackishon. Smashed and destroyed. A video on Snapchat shows the destruction. When Manitoba RCMP responded to an out-of-control party with reports of gunshots at a house west of Winnipeg. It was chaos. So there was people fleeing the scene, both on foot and in vehicle. There was still three floors worth of people inside the residence. Um, there was alcohol containers strewn everywhere. People were in need of emergency medical assistance. One teen had overdosed. Two others were severely assaulted and transported to hospital where another injured teen had already been taken. Yes, there was just under a dozen cop cars and the fire truck and ambulance pulling up. No firearms were located. A photo released by RCMP shows a blurry, chaotic scene. Now we're saying to the public, we need your help. There was a lot of people at this party and even more who knew about it via social media. So we're asking them to come forward if they have any information. This is the second time RCMP have responded to a party like this in the past five months. Last fall, another violent party was reported north of Winnipeg. Hundreds of people attended when the address was shared on social media. This property is listed as a vacation rental online, an acreage. The owner who spoke with CTV through email said one person with a credit card booked the home for a maximum five people to stay overnight on Friday, February 24th. He says in that one night, at least $17,000 in damage was done and $9,000 in valuables were stolen. It's not clear how many people were at the party. The homeowner says more than 50. Police believe there could be more victims. RCMP continue to investigate. No charges have been laid. Jill Mackishon, CTV News, Rosser, Manitoba.